Welcome back to the Two Blues podcast on Transfer Deadline Day. This is a special last minute episode of Two Blues Transfer News. And of course, we will be bringing you, as always, a Two Blues Deadline Day live stream tonight from approximately 8 p.m. UK time until the window closes at 11 p.m. We are going to be covering everything, everything in, everything out from Chelsea, Premier League, around the world, all the big deals. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel and tap in tonight, 8 p.m. at Two Blues podcast on the YouTube. Um, but for now, I think... I think we've got to get a jump on it. We've got to get a head start and we've got to look at Ivan Tony, Victor Osiman, Jaden Sancho, Armando Broya and Trevor Shalaba. There has been a lot of outgoings in Chelsea in the last few days. Um, George Petrovic off to Strasbourg on loan. Rumours uh, that we will be selling uh, David Washington uh, to Strasbourg for a minute profit on what we paid for him last season. Um, Chelsea are still focusing on the outgoings. Uh, Raheem Sterling although he's one of the uh, the priorities to get off the books at the moment. Um, reportedly, not in any talks or not in talks with anyone. There were some reports earlier today suggesting that we had offered him to Arsenal um, and some other reports suggesting they had taken us up on that offer or were interested in Raheem Sterling. Uh, we have seen no movement on that and uh, someone has just reported as of 2pm, um, there is nobody in conversation with Raheem Sterling. So, looks like he'll be more than happy to sit on the sidelines at Chelsea this season and just pocket that 300 grand a week um if he does you know if we can't find him a, a move out of this club i think we we will regret it in hindsight and i think he will essentially be be bullied out of the club in january um but you know as jamie redknapp said um a couple of minutes ago as a lot of pundits are saying you can't force a player out of the club um you know short of ripping up his contract and handing him the check for 45 million pound which is what we owe him in wages over the next 3 years um there's very little chelsea can do you know all of the the power is in the player's hands in this scenario so um a little bit worrying potentially that we might have you know a player akin to romelu lukaku on 300 grand a week training with the under 21s bleeding toxicity and, and negativity into the dressing room. Um, but, you know, that is definitely one to watch. And, and fingers crossed, you know, we've got seven hours. Uh, fingers crossed Chelsea can find a suitable solution for Raheem Sterling. Um, another winger uh, that has been linked with a couple of clubs, uh, obviously Jaden Sancho, was linked to a move with Juventus. So, you know, potentially, I don't know whether we, we're offering, out, offering him to anybody and everybody, but Juventus could be interested, you know, one of very few clubs that would probably be able to pay his wage. Um, and obviously having got rid of Chiesa, I don't know if they are looking to replace him, but definitely worth a, uh, worth a, a phone call, I think. And um, if the rumours that Chelsea executives or Chelsea management are in the um, in Italy, in Napoli at the moment, trying to uh, to find a solution for this Victor Rossman deal, um, if that is a case, you know, Pop down the road, um, go to, to Turin um, and, you know, make him a nice cut price deal on, on Raheem Sterling to get him off the books. That would be a, an ideal scenario, I think. Um, but moving on to, to the strikers, um, as it does seem... Actually, you know what? Sorry, we touched on uh, on Jaden Sancho there. So we'll, we'll discuss Jaden Sancho as I think that's the last kind of concrete um, update from Fabrizio, um, RE Chelsea today. Um, and that was an hour ago saying Chelsea have submitted an official bid to Manchester United. Um, it's an initial loan proposal similar to the terms offered by Juventus, but the total package is higher. Um, Sancho, as of this morning, has apparently already given his green light um, and is keen to joining Chelsea. Um, so it's up to the clubs, Chelsea and Man United. Um, now, I'm not sure how much truth there is to this. I did kind of wave it away when I first heard about it yesterday on Sky Sports um, because I personally think it's very, very hard this day and age for, for a, you know, a corporate entity like Sky Sports to get an exclusive of that magnitude. Um, but whether there is truth to it, I mean, the the, the rumours that were being bandied around yesterday were a swap move, Sancho for Sterling, um, and which I kind of, I under, you know, I understood that we're, we are trying to use Sterling in a make way as a deal because we're struggling to get rid of him full stop, but we don't need to, to swap him. We don't need to replace him. We've already just gone out and spent 60 million on Pedro Neto. So we don't need Jaden Sancho. Listen, I, I think he... There is still potential for him there. I, I, you know, I don't think I've written him off in terms of his career's over, but he has inarguably been a massive failure for Manchester United. Never, you know, even reached a shadow of the height that he'd reached at Borussia Dortmund. So, I think it would be interesting, given our, our you know, top-heavy squad balance at the moment. You know, there are elements of the deal that I could see work. At the fact that he's a Chelsea fan, the fact that he has, you know, been. He fell out with Ten Hag, and you know, he's been looking for a way back into the squad. Um, I, I. I 
personally think you know if you were to, to go chalk and if you were to, to compare the two and say if you were to have one player in your squad you had to have one player in your squad who would you have Sancho or Sterling I'd go with Sancho I think you know probably fits into the wage structure wants to play with, with us a little bit more he's got youth on his side as well um but again, unnecessary. I don't think we need him. Um, I'm more than happy with the wingers that we've got at the moment. And if we do bring another senior player into this side, we are just creating more problems for ourselves. Um, I think the way that we've been offloading players is fantastic, but we have been slowly bringing more players in as well. And we need to just be careful that we are kind of continually towing the line. You know, we're not not going overboard. We don't kind of sell two or three and then go out and buy six and then we're kind of left in the, the same position as we were last year. Um, but a couple of the outgoings um, that are being worked on, apparently Trevor Shalaba, um, potentially, I don't know. I mean, the, the last I saw, I think Atlanta um, had inquired, but his wage demands were, were far too high. Um, I saw something about potentially Wolves had made an inquiry. Um, Chuck Wemmerker as well, another one that could potentially be leaving today. Um, I, I, and I said last night, you know, after the, the Savet game, if I was Carney Chukwemeka, I, I would be absolutely fuming because to be cast out of this squad with the talent that he has, the potential that he has, but the talent, the technical ability, the footwork that he has, he, 10 times the player Jewsbury Hall is. So I'd be pretty fuming if I was Chukwemeka and I'd be open to a move away. Um, you know, if it is a make weight, if, if we use him as a make weight for, for Jaden Sancho, I would be fuming. I'd say I'd rather Chukwemeka than Sancho. A lot of the these swap deals that I'm hearing about don't really make sense. And, and we should just be focusing on getting these players out and off the books. Um, Kepa was another one that went this week. Obviously, Lukaku uh, as well. I know we, we did an episode on it, but Lukaku was officially gone now, uh, went as of Thursday. Um, and uh, yeah, this this Tony Osiman dialogue is messy. Um they uh, Sky Sports, one of the Sky Sports exclusives yesterday was that Ivan Tony Chelsea had, had put a bid in for Ivan Tony. Um, reports are coming out suggesting that the deal is all but done. Al, Al Ali Saudi Arabian side have reached an agreement with Brentford on signing Ivan Tony for £40 million. The personal terms are sorted and he's undergoing a medical, I was going to say as we speak, but today. Um, Ornstein said that he was unclear on repercussions for Victor Osiman, as a deal has reportedly also been agreed between the two clubs in the region of 60, 65 mil, 80 mil euros. Um, that being said, the general consensus from Ornstein, Fabrizio, the majority of... of well-known journalists in the limelight. Um, they seem to to all be under the same consensus that Al-Ali will only sign one of these two strikers. Um, and I personally think with everything being done with Ivan Tony, the deal being 40 million and him undergoing a medical, I feel like if he passes the medical and Victor Rossiman, we aren't able to, to lower his wages, which I don't think we are going to be able to, I think we're going to, to end up hijacking that uh, that Tony deal, um, you know, he's already done the medical, so we, we know, you know, we'll have someone in there knowing that he's passed. And I reckon we'll just say to Brentford, look, same terms, you know, Al Ali will take Osiman and, and we'll take Brentford. And I do think, uh, and we'll take Tony, but I do think Osiman could go to Saudi for a season and come back and still succeed. I think it'd just be a shame. You know, I, I do rate him very, very highly. And I think one of the top strikers in the world needs to be playing um, in Europe's top five leagues. But um, it's going to be an interesting, like I said, seven hours. Um, we are going to be covering it in depth this evening, um, literally just following the stories as they roll in, the latest news and rumours as it rolls in. Um, Chelsea, I just want to report quickly on uh, an outgoing. Uh, Ronnie Stutter um, has gone on a season-long loan to Burton Albion. Um, great move for him. Really, really hope um, that he gets game time. He's 19 years old. I think Ronnie Stutter is fantastic. Ronnie Stutter is one of the few players I have been pushing for um, to to move up into this first team alongside Frankie Runham um, and Leo Castle Dine um, and Tyreek George, uh, who has kind of made his breakthrough along with Action Pong um, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I, I think this could be a great move for him. Um, and I do think he's a, a good, good player for the future. Um, you know, we've seen players like Harvey Vale have great loan moves and then, you know, Chelsea looking at potentially selling them. So, you know, the chances of him making it at Chelsea, extremely slim. Um, but, Look, I'll be honest, from what I've seen, Ronnie Stutter has more than enough quality, more than enough talent. Um, and I'm really excited to see how he progresses um, and plays at Burton Albion this year. Um, and of course, we will be covering not just Ronnie Stutter, but all of the Chelsea loanees um, week in, week out in our Loan Watch series this season. So if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, Chelsea goalkeeper Jorge Petrovic has completed a season-long loan move to 
League One side, RC Strasbourg. Um, they're building quite a good team over there. They've now got Petrovic, Caleb Wiley, Andre Santos scored his first goal the other day. Um, and it was David Washington, potentially their signing, um, as well as a couple of other signings that they've made um, not affiliated with Chelsea. So I think they're building quite a, a solid team over there from a team that was struggling with uh, with relegation last year. Should be very interesting to see how Strasbourg do this season. Um, but yeah, I, I think all in all, I, I don't, I wouldn't be mad if Chelsea didn't make a sign into that. I think there's still three or four outgoings that I want to see. Fabrizio uh, tweeted five minutes ago. Also, this this news will all be slightly delayed. I've just realised I'm giving times and saying an hour ago, five minutes ago. Obviously, I'll edit and drop this as quick as I can. Bear with me. Uh, apparently, negotiations for Sancho ongoing after the bid ex- uh, submitted as exclusively le- revealed. Um, I, 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 yeah. It's not one I'm going to get excited about. Um, I think it's fairly unnecessary, to be honest. Um but yeah, Kepa to, to Bournemouth yesterday. Uh, Ipswich to uh, Broya to Ipswich potentially back on. Um, yeah, I mean, as long as I'd, I'd be disappointed if Chuck Wemmicker left today, but I think the outgoings are the main thing. I think, yeah, I want to see a solution found for Shalabat. And the way that I'm saying this is very much not. I want him to go. I want a solution to be found, an amicable solution to be found for Shalaba, Chilwell and Sterling because it will be really, really bad for this football club if they are sat on the bench this season collecting money. Or not even sat on the bench, sat not in the squad collecting money. That would be, I think, very, very damaging to, to Chelsea. So we've, we've got some work to do. Um Chelsea expected to strike deal with Manchester United to sign Jadon Sancho before the transfer window closes. No formal agreements in place yet, but situation advancing that way. And Manchester United winger wants to complete proposed move. That is the one to watch. Chelsea also awaiting green light from Victor Osimhen before advancing talks with Napoli over deal. Chelsea hope he will agree to fit team and incentive bade way structure. I do not doubt he uh, will want far more than that. So that is not one I expect to happen. Uh, but all eyes at the moment on Victor Osimhen and. Jaden Sancho. Will Chelsea get the deals done before the transfer window closes? Either way, we will be there tonight, 8pm till 11pm, live stream on this channel. Make sure you're there.